Back Warriors. I'm Landry Key. And I'm Jaden. Today is Wednesday, August 14th, 2024. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by your moment of silence. Thank you for tuning in. Now let's get to the news. Starting off with sports, JHS Girls Golf Trials will begin on Thursday, August 15th and continue on through the next day. Day 1 trials will be held at First Tee on Haverhill Road in West Palm Beach at 3.30 p.m. Day 2 of trials will be held via invite only and held, with at, held at Admiral's Cove at 3.30 p.m. Coach Valentine will communicate with girls that will return on Friday. JHS's swim and dive tryouts began yesterday, but all who are interested, boys and girls, are encouraged to attend for the tryout window, which goes until August 22nd. Final cuts and selections for the team will be held on Friday, August 23rd. There's a player informational meeting being held on August 16th at 3 p.m. in room 10106. This informational meeting is for all interested student athletes for the 2025 Warrior baseball teams. Information about the upcoming season, fall ball, and other topics will be discussed. Does bowling pique your interest? JHS Girls and Boys Bowling Tryouts will be held on Monday, August 19th at 4 p.m. at Bolero Jupiter. For further information, please see either Coach Blasky or Coach Anderson with further questions. And with all athletic tryouts, athletic paperwork must be submitted and approved via Activate. Calling all performers and techies. The first drama club meeting will be on Monday, August 19th in the drama room, room 9106, the last door on the right of the Performing Arts Hallway. They will discuss auditions for this year's musical, Little Shop of Horrors, performance and tech competitions, and more. They hope to see you there. Attention class of 2025. Did you miss applying for Rho Kappa, our Social Studies Honor Society, last January? Were you denied because your cumulative, unweighted GPA was slightly below a 3.5? Did you not quite have enough Social Studies classes to apply? Then listen up. Seniors with an unweighted GPI of 3.5 and seniors who will graduate in May 2025 with eight semesters of social studies credits total can apply to join Rho Kappa. Please see Ms. Hansen in room 6208 to get an application or ask your current social studies teacher. Applications are due by Thursday, August 30th, 30th by 3 p.m. to room 6208. For anyone interested in joining the Computer Science Honor Society, you are invited to the informational meeting on Wednesday, August 14th which is today in room 4214, after school at 2.45 p.m. They will also be discussing the 2024 through 2025 AFA Cyber Patriot competition season. The new head of U.S. Cyber Command and the National Security Agency says this is one of his top priorities. In the next five years, experts predict a worldwide shortage of nearly 2 million cybersecurity professionals. Over 300,000 jobs right here in the U.S. open today. So what to do? Start recruiting early. Meet the hope of the future, a bunch of middle and high school students who we call cyber patriots. So we're going to dot letter one, key. This is serious business. Nope, don't touch that. Kids being taught the cutting edge techniques of how to defend America from cyber attacks. Those actually aren't too hard to understand. Some recruits still in middle school. And we need one for Ratchet also. Same one. It's all part of a national competition called Cyber Patriot, rooming kids to fight real world cyber threats. We've been following an all female team from Highlands Ranch, Colorado since last fall. Does that mean something to you to be a patriot? You have to look out for other people who don't know how to protect themselves, you know, because like even with my mom, and she's, you know, out on her computer. She has no password on it. She has nothing. You gotta look out for people who don't know the same things about cyber that you do. Kids like Kaylee Kirkwood and her teammates could be the answer to a huge national security problem. 
too many key cybersecurity jobs and too few people to fill them. The new leader of U.S. Cyber Command and the NSA, General Paul Nakasone, considers this so important he agreed to give us his first interview. How do you imagine, plan for, prepare for the future? What you're looking for are the young people, people like those in Cyber Patriot today that have the imagination, the know-how, the initiative to be able to want to work in this space, that are addicted to be able to work in the cyberspace. A who's who of defense and security contractors are among Cyber Patriot's funders. The competition, started by the Air Force Association nearly a decade ago, has grown from a handful of students in Florida to over 25,000 kids across the country. That's all for the news. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day, Warriors.